Hey, what's going on guys? Paradox here, and welcome to episode 7, I believe, of Darkscape. Uh, so we're going to start this off with looting my easy clue. I'm hoping this is going to be the loot, or else this intro is going to be uh, terrible. Uh, so I think it's supposed to be in this shop in our doing, so hopefully it's this crate? Possibly. Oh shit! <laughs> Black Kite Shield T! Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty cool cosmetic item, but I don't think anyone really wants it right now. That's kind of cool nonetheless, and 150 pure essence. We can always use pure essence for our nature, uh, nature wicked hood dailies. But black kite shield tea, that's kind of funny for my second ever, uh, second ever easy clue. So this may be old news by now, but uh, high elk, the high elk price of spider silk uh, rope tops have been drastically reduced so rip me i i take took too long to uh get 55 mage so i just lost like 70k which kind of sucks i was kind of saving that for <laughs> kind of a rainy day there gonna get my cash tech up but oh well so let's see if anybody wants to buy this uh black kite shield trimmed so we're gonna offer it uh what should we say let's just try for what the uh suggested price is <laughs> i doubt anybody's gonna no, no one wants it. I didn't think so. Maybe we'll try in a, in a month or so when people start to uh, get a bit more cash in the bank. So some people in my clan have been talking about uh, stealing creation. How you can get some really nice bonus XP from it. So I guess I guess I just transformed this thing that I bought for 26 points. And apparently... Okay, so apparently it's supposed to give me like 24k bonus XP. So I'm going to say yes to con convert it to range. Oh, nice. 24k bonus XP, just like that. So 26 points for the first uh, item. And then after that, I think it's 20 to recharge. So it's pretty well 20 points for 20 k 24k bonus XP, which is pretty good at low levels. Uh, back when I used to do ceiling creation, you actually had to use the item. So this is a lot better. Okay, guys. So we have 400 maple shield bows. Uh, so, I am unsure if I should keep these until I can high elk them, or uh, just go ahead and sell them to the store. How much would this be worth? So, if we were to elk them, it would be 153k, uh, but selling them to the store it would, of course, be half that, so about 75. Uh, so, I don't know, we have six levels until that, so I, I kind of do need some money, so I guess I'll just sell these to the store, and uh, the next batch or the batch after that, I can uh, I can elk those ones. But this is going to be a pretty decent cash stack. Uh, it goes up about a couple K every time I do this, so you uh, you actually make profit, and I'm up to 61 fletching. So it's great XP, and you get some a little bit of profit from it too, so not too bad. Well, uh, joining the cash like right at the start is just death. There's like three level 80s that just camp at the start and kill everybody so that they get the cash all themselves, I think. Uh, so that was kind of lame. Holy crap, guys. I just put down a bird snare. We started at level 20. Look at these XP drops. 225, 191. Oh my god. <laughs> the XP bubble can't keep up. 25. Oh my god, these XP drops. 250s. There's 27. Oh my god, this is like the best Hunter XP. 250. Oh, <laughs> look at it. It's going so crazy. It can't even keep up. And we're going to... Is it going to get to 30? Oh, okay. We stop at 29. That is intense, guys. Holy shit. Hey, there we go. There's a nice number. 50 fire making. I think this is a requirement for desert treasure, which is pretty nice. Let's check this out. Uh, yes, desert treasure. Nice. Uh, so now I can do... I think I have just a few more requirements for that, but I'm not in a really huge rush. But uh, right now I'm pretty much just cutting these maples here out uh, near Sears, where there's no competition, and then just burning them straight after. I think this is probably the best uh, wood cutting XP for my level right now until I can do ivies. And then once I get ivies, I can just AFK until uh, 76 for branches. More into my new series, because this is kind of the first official episode of my Road to QBD series. Uh, I was thinking I kind of want a PvP based series eventually, but right now most people are just one iteming and I'm not really set up for that yet, of course. So I think I'm just going to do a PV, uh, PVM based series for now. And I think going to QBD will be kind of fun, a fun little challenge. 
Uh, I've got to get my herbivore up, summoning to 60. Uh, I want to get uh, some sort of war priest, which would be kind of fun to kill spiritual mages or warriors or something. That'd be kind of dangerous because <laughs> people are probably going to be starting to camp it soon. Uh, but once I get elk, it'll open up a lot of uh, different things for me. Uh, but eventually, I want to get up my ranged, and I'm going to have to get. I was thinking of getting a hand cannon, which is level 75, which would be pretty decent and also has a special attack. Uh, but alternatively, I could get a crystal bow or a black salamander. Uh, black salamander would be the easiest one to get, but the tar. I guess the tar won't be too bad, so that might be what I use to start out, but a crystal bow would definitely be pretty good alternative it would be expensive to start up but once you get once you get a few recharges in it's only like a hundred and whatever it's they change the prices so I'm not really familiar 180k or something so it's not too bad uh, once you get down to that but it's probably like three mil getting there so I think it's gonna be a challenge actually doing the kills too because I'll probably only get like one kill trips like oh, once I get there uh, one kill attempts I guess I'm gonna have to run to the bank, run to uh, QBD with a full <laughs> inventory of gear and stuff. And people are probably gonna try to kill me, which is gonna suck. Uh, but hopefully by that time I'm high enough level and whatever weapon I'm using, a T70, hopefully I can fend them off or uh, at least make them run away or get away from them without using too much food. But I feel like people are gonna camp that entrance to QBD. Um, so we'll have to see, maybe I'll go on like an off time because uh, my time zone might be good for that at, <laughs> late at night. So we'll see when we get there, but it should be a fun little journey. Yes, and we have purchased 500 more shield bows and bowstring. So I'm going to collect that all and make these up and uh, make about 20k profit on these and some nice fletching XP. Okay, guys, did a bit more uh, stealing creation. So we have 82 points right now. So that's enough for uh, four recharges, which is like over 80k bonus XP. Uh, so there's 24, and let's keep going here. This is going to be enough for 63-ish. I think I calculated it out, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So this is going to be great. I'm just going to use up all this bonus XP, and this is going to go super fast, four times the normal rate, which is great, two times plus two times. So this should go quite quickly, and we will be up to 70 range in no time. All done with another 500 maple shield bows. This should be some nice bit of coin here. Uh, let's see how much you're gonna give for me. Give me for this Arhe 96k. Holy, I I guess yeah. <laughs> I was kind of wasn't even really paying attention to that, but that's a nice little cash stack. So we are oh just under a 100k cash stack. Yes, and there is 51 ranged and 1,000 total, as well as 60 combat. We got a lot of levels there at the same time. So that's 1,000 total level, that's pretty awesome, that's good achievement here. So let's keep going. So I finally got around to buying a nature talisman, so let's put this in the hood. Delicious. Nice, so now we can do our daily uh, runs with this essence that I got from uh, that easy clue. Nice, so uh, we can teleport to the nature altar now for some free nature runes every day. Uh, so teleport, nature, teleport. I'm really hoping there's no one that camps these uh, the altars. Oh, shit. Right. It's a medium risk zone. Rip. Taking a wee break from uh, combat for a bit. Gonna work on some smithing. Uh, just bought 100 iron ore just to test this out to see what the rates are here. Uh, seems like it's gonna be pretty good, so I think it's like... Okay, yeah, 222 XP per iron ore, uh, iron ingot, which is pretty good, pretty great. That uh, 100 ore that I just bought is gonna get me 22k XP. So this will boost my uh, mining level up a bit. Uh, get it a bit higher with my other stats, and I might uh, go my mine some iron later to do this more. Hey, the grind is real. There's 60 fire making. Uh, so, another 10 levels off the list, and I don't really think I have any goals. Oh, we can burn the U-logs now. I, I don't think I'll ever burn U-logs in the near future. <laughs> That'd be kind of expensive. But uh, I think... I don't really have any fire making goals right now. I'm pretty much just using fire making uh, to burn logs here so I can stay longer. There is 68 wood cutting, so now we can do choking ivy. Uh, so that is great. Now we can AFK wood cutting, get some nice gains in the wilderness, and that'll be a very good method for me to get 74 magics and eventually get 76 for uh, branches of darkmare. So I don't think I'll. 
Oh, that is an alarm. But uh, I don't know if I'll do that now, but I have a good AFK method now for when I have to, uh, to edit, so that is great. Here, let's see how much XP we're going to get from this. Hopefully a bunch of people join in. Uh, come on, let's go. Well, already we got a level. This is a good start. 30. Uh, was that two levels already? There's 31. <laughs> oh, this XP is great when people start joining in. The XP drops are just insane. Oh, don't drop a farm, farm patch. There's 32. Getting a bit uh, further between now, but this is still great XP. Pretty much just going to be training Hunter solely with this. 33. And <laughs> still going. There's a lot of people using this now. Well, not as many as last time, actually. 33, almost 34. That's pretty decent for one uh, bird snare. So unfortunately, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a like down below, and subscribe if you're new to my series to keep continuing my journey towards QBD, and uh, eventually maybe a Royal Crossbow. So uh, until then guys, good luck and take care.